as far as culture and you know, all those kind of things uh, with Finland. So people are very uh, traditional. Uh, they have honestly, and they're very ordered, and, well, generally very ordered, and have like a set of rules or things they live by and they do that they have always been doing. Um, and so I guess to start off, a quick history about Finland. Um, so Finns, they don't have good feelings towards Russia uh, just because of World War II uh, with the Nazis and everything. Finns are actually, uh, they, they, um, I guess they, they agreed with the Nazis so they wouldn't get conquered uh, to do uh, shipbuilding and other kind of stuff uh, and also like supply them with certain things so they wouldn't be conquered and like uh, by the Nazis. Um, and so, uh, but then at some point during the war, uh, Russia just was like, okay, whatever. And, and so uh, Russia actually, the Nazis didn't, but Russia decided to attack Finland. Um, and um, they, so you ask Finns and they love telling you all about this because it's honestly a huge part of uh, Finnish culture. I mean, the Finns population is about, now it's 5.4 million, but at that time, I don't even know, it was probably like 4 million or maybe less. Um, and so, and Finns are very spread out as far as the cities. You'll have a city and then like nothing forever and then a city. So people are living very far away from each other. But anyway, a smaller population, you have this huge, uh, uh, you have uh, Russia come attack Finland on the eastern border. Um, and so f they call it the Winter War, and it's just a war where Finland held off Russia. Uh, the temperature at that time, it was one of the coldest uh, winters, and it was about negative 42 degrees Celsius or something. Very cold. I think it got colder, you know, I could be wrong. Uh, but it was extremely, like, it was freezing cold, and so. Uh, and the Finns pride themselves being able to outdo Russia with the weather and everything. And so, um, but anyway, yeah, so the Russians attacked Finland and Finland held them off uh, and did, uh, got, uh, pushed them back. But they ended up losing an area of Finland, uh, a, a large area, you could say, a nice little sliver on the side. And they call it uh, Karelia is what it's called in English. And so... Um, and you'll learn all about like the culture with the uh, like the like the Karelians and like what about them and that kind of stuff. As you're in Finland, uh, what makes them unique? Uh, and as far as language-wise, and there's a lot of things of that. But um, anyway, so they were conquered. I mean, so that part of Finland was taken, and so they have. Uh, they don't have good feelings towards Russians uh, really at all. They don't like Russians too much. Um, but you will have an opportunity to serve near the Russian border in a place called Lapen Ranta. It's about 25 kilometers from Russia. Then there's also Yoensu and Savon, they know which are also uh, just you know, a few hundred kilometers. Um, but anyway, so that all ties, you know, you come uh, to Finland, they're very, uh, since being a very ordered people, they have a very strong uh, political view. Uh, they're very, you could say they're uh, liberal in their thinking as far as it goes. Um, they're they have, uh, so politically wise. So they have high taxes. I think it's about forty-two percent tax, uh, and I think it also depends on your income. Uh, very high taxes, but um, uh, medicine uh, is free. And so, uh, and that's, uh, so anything like that, you go to the hospital, it's all free. Um, it isn't very high quality, but it is like throughout Europe, it's one of the higher quality medical places. Uh, but since it's free, they don't pay doctors or those kind of people. I'm a med pre-med student, so I studied this a lot when I was there, but they don't pay very high for those kind of professions. And so not many people go into it. Um, and so then it's not the highest quality. Uh, but it's free, and so that's why people love it, and it's it's good enough quality for where they are. Because when you meet a Finnish person, a um, common thing to do is you always give them a handshake and a a nod, uh, not like a full body, you know, a, a nod, and they usually will tell you, you always say your name. Um, sometimes they'll say their last name, then first name, or just your first name. It's very common, and that's how you learn people's names. And it's, it you need to remember their names. It's it's 
I mean, obviously in any kind of culture, it's sort of rude to forget their name. Uh, in America, we always ask people their names and forget two seconds later. And so, that's what I do. Um, and so, that's one thing as far as uh, etiquette, you could say. Um, one other thing about eating, uh, they have, if, if you watch them as you're eating, they won't tell you to do this as missionaries because they understand like you are not from their culture, so they will not expect you to do anything like this. But um, as you're eating the food, fork in the left hand, knife in the right, um, and you keep it like that the whole time. Uh, in, in America, we do it a little differently. You usually cut it with the right hand, and then you place the knife down, put the fork in the right, and then you eat it. Uh, in Finland, it's way different. You very, very rarely will you eat anything with your hands. Uh, it's dirty. Um, and so any kind of time you have a meal, it, there's always a, a main course, and always, no matter what time of day, there's always a dessert afterwards, what, whether it be <coughs> Whether it be a fruit bowl or uh, some sort of ice cream, uh, they will always provide a, a a dessert. If there's five or more people though at the table, I need to wait to eat a dessert. You gotta wait to eat it until everyone receives their serving, and then you can pick up your spoon and start eating. If there's less than five people, you can feel free to eat whenever you want. And when you receive your food, I mean, whenever you receive your food, you're allowed to start chowing down immediately. But if there's more than five people. Uh, for the dessert, this is the rule for the dessert, not the main course. Uh, but when there's more than five people, then you need to be waiting. And so you'll notice the kids are very uh, well educated with etiquette because when they get their dessert, they're sitting there waiting for everyone else to get it, and you gotta do the same thing. Because, I mean, they're not gonna tell you to do it, but you need to do it. Fins are too nice to tell you to do it. But they will love to see that you understand their culture by doing that. Uh, traditions. Uh, some more things when you walk when you walk into someone's home you will always take your shoes off no matter what uh, they don't have carpets they all have hardwood floors uh, but it is if you wear your shoes inside the home it's very disrespectful um, and so you will always you want to make sure so that's one thing as far as getting shoes um, what I had uh, you want to make sure your shoes are uh, easy to untie uh, are not difficult like so I ended up getting zip-on boots uh, because you go into the home zip them off you take everything off you put it uh, on like the racks and everything and they're very nice they'll come take it off for you or help you assist you in that kind of stuff um, but you want to make sure you're uh, on top of that and you don't be disrespectful because they will not tell you you're being disrespectful and fins are too nice to do that um, and so you take off your shoes take off your clothing uh, uh, like your outer clothing <laughs> not your clothing <laughs> holidays uh, Christmas is the biggest thing uh, in Finland uh, there's three days of Christmas there's Christmas Eve Christmas Day and then the day after Christmas and so they're all holidays uh, they open their presents the evening of Christmas Eve um, there's no shops open. They love Christmas. Santa Claus, like you don't know that. I mean, I didn't know this growing up in America, but Santa Claus lives in Finland. I don't know if you knew that, but uh, he lives in the North Pole, uh, the Arctic Circle. There's a there's Santa's village. It's an actual village you can visit if you live if you're up in the north. Uh, if you're up in the north zone, they call it the north zone. Uh, then you might have an opportunity to have a zone conference up at Santa's Village. I never got to go there, but I saw many pictures and it was, it was beautiful. But yeah, Santa's up there with his elves and everything and uh, it's the biggest thing. Uh, Christmas, everyone has a Santa Claus come to the home, uh, give the presents, uh, and during Christmas they, as far as food, they eat the casseroles or different kinds of uh, meats. Um, uh, but it's not like in America how we'll have <coughs> We'll have tons of lights and like this huge thing. It's more of a mellow, uh, relaxing kind of time. Um, uh, everyone will go to church on Christmas Day. Uh, um, and then as far as like the Lutheran, everyone, was about 86% is Lutheran. And so they'll go to church on Christmas Day. Um, and so it's just, and they're, like Christmas songs are slow and... Uh, they could be seen from Americans as being boring and so they will adopt a lot of American culture into their Christmas because they want to spunk it up a little because it's a little some, 
sorry. It's a it's, <clears throat> it's a it's a little dull in their minds sometimes. And the newer generations think so. Um, but uh, then they have other like you know like the summer solstice because um, the during the summer the sun will like never go down depending where you're living, and so. Um, They'll have the, was it, I think it was June 26th, it was the summer solstice or something. They'll have big parties and that kind of stuff. Uh, they have Vapu Baiva, which is like, a, I think it's Independence Day. Oh, it's Independence Day, it's a Freedom Day or something. And um, just many days where, I mean, you got to be careful because there's a lot of drinking and that kind of stuff. So your mission president will not allow you to be going out during those days. Okay. You could look it up. It's the um, yeah, number one place for mothers uh, in particular. Uh, and that's because, um, so first off, they have a very high appreciation for women in Finland. And they have, I mean, there's no like discrimination really. Um, I think the current president is actually a woman right now. Um, and so... Or like the last president was, I can't remember, but one, they had a woman president recently. Um, and so, but yeah, so it's a very safe way, safe place because um, they have such a small amount of crime. It is like that people are so honest and trustworthy. Yeah, you, you leave your bike out unlocked for days and no one will take it. Like if you lose a scarf or something or like a, a glove or a nice hat or anything, uh, people will hang it up on a tree near where they found it on the ground instead of taking it. So people like are very honest and they just don't like they have they're just very uh, loving in that kind of way. And so it's such a very safe place. You don't have to worry about anything except for like being cold. Like besides that, it's just like there's no crazy bugs. Like you have mosquitoes during the winter time. I'm sorry, during the summertime. Um, and honestly, there's nothing else to really worry about. Uh, and so, but yeah, you have, it's just a very safe place, uh, very clean, extremely clean. You'll learn how to recycle like crazy. Um, and, um, yeah, it's just, there's nothing to worry about in Finland, uh, as, as far as it goes. If you have any worries, there's nothing to worry about. I mean, it's cold, but that's not even that big of a problem. Like you get over cold pretty easily. Um, but yeah, you can, there's no, like, I mean, you might go to places in the world where people you're worried about being out late and someone's going to rob you or something, but you don't have to worry about that in Finland. No one's ever going to do that. I mean, maybe you might have like a drunk guy that's a little scary on the street, but that's about it. So, um, but that's pretty safe for that. 